my reaction is actually kind of funny because it actually took a few days for the fact that I actually got into a school to fully settle in. So after opening the acceptance letter, it, it might take a few days and then I might be having lunch or dinner and then it will suddenly struck me that oh, I actually got into Berkeley or I actually got into WashU. So it's pretty funny, but I'm really grateful and happy for all the acceptances that I was able to get. Mm -hmm. So uh, for most of the schools that I applied to, I applied for either a molecular and cellular biology major or a biochemistry major. And the reason that um, I applied to these majors was that I've always had an interest in biology because I liked how it explained a lot of the mechanisms of life and explained a lot of like intricate mechanisms within our human body and that was really interesting to me. And then after an internship experience at Academia Seneca and realizing the field of biochemistry is an interdisciplinary connection between biology and chemistry and then how it opened up like a new field of possibilities, I like how the major gave me a really empowering experience. So that is what I want to continue to do in college. Nice. So I was actually really lucky in a way that a lot of my extracurricular activities complemented my academic performance, like um, the academia Seneca research experience that I have just talked about. Um, during the time at school, we were actually learning about biotechnology in my IB biology course. And so having the opportunity to um, do actual hands-on research experience it put a lot of the descriptions on the textbooks into perspective for me and it also allowed me to actually understand a lot of the details um, about biotechnology. And then for extracurriculars that are not directly related to academics, I feel like it's really important to know what you're trying to prioritize and to kind of um, designate specific time blocks for a specific extracurricular activities or your academics so that you ensure that you're giving a balanced focus for both instead of um, spending too much time on a specific task. Yeah. Let's do so in the college application process, I think the role that um, extracurricular activity plays is um, showing the admission officer a different side of you or showing multiple aspects of you instead of just showing them your stats, like your GPA and SAT scores. So I think to best highlight your strength, the important thing is to choose extracurricular activities that correspond to aspects of your passion or what you believe you're the strongest in. So for me, um, as an example, I chose three main aspects, and it was leadership, um, bio biological research, and um, English writing. And um, for each of these three categories, I chose a few extracurriculars to really devote time into. So for leadership, I'm, I'm also the Secretary General of Modern United Nations Club in our school, so I feel like it showed um, the admission officer the dedication and time I've put it into Modern United Nations and, and how I like to discuss solutions for global issues. And then at Pano, my counselor also advised me to kind of elaborate more on my interest in English writing to show admission officers how I'm not only just a girl who was interested in biology, but I also have a strong interest in writing and how I like to combine biology, like STEM subjects and writing together to create new possibilities. Yeah, yeah um, definitely because for me personally, I've never um, visited any of the colleges before. So all of my information about um, schools or colleges are based on either websites or a lot of YouTube videos. And I think that's where um, college counselors come in handy because a lot of the counselors at panel have experience going to, has experience going through a lot of the schools and there's also a wide variety of counselors going to a lot of different schools. So you kind of get a more um, complete perspective on what it is like to actually go to the school and decide what you really like the school and apply to it. The full part I would say is definitely the essay editing part because essay is a major part of a college application and in at Paddle there's actually college counselors, essay editors, and also essay workshops. So I feel like every essay that I've written 
it goes through, it, a lot of people review it and I get feedback from a lot of different perspectives and I think this is especially important because some of the essay ideas or the messages that I was trying to convey might not have really effectively communicated the way that I thought based on my cultural backgrounds but having a lot of different sets of opinions ensured that the message that I was trying to communicate really effectively said what it was supposed to say and a lot of the essay editors also um, suggested me how I can elaborate on some of the ideas to make the essay more um, complete or better reflect what I was trying to express and another major thing that I felt like college counselors was um, really helpful was that because college application process is really long and intricate so having a counselor makes you feel like you have someone to turn to whenever you encounter a problem or whenever you need help and you feel a lot more relieved in the process.